why do you need the book of Genesis? Nowadays, if you don't have the book of Genesis, you don't even know what a woman is. That's where we're going. And why do you need Exodus to understand salvation? Why do you need Leviticus to know the holiness of God? Why do you need Numbers to understand how God refines and disciplines? Why do you need Deuteronomy to know the love of God? Why do you need Joshua to know that God will conquer the world? Why do you need Judges and Ruth and First and Second Samuel to know that redemptive history is moving to the Messiah, to the Lord Jesus Christ? Why do you need Isaiah to understand the plan of God and the gospel and how that will triumph and Ezekiel, the presence of God? And you need the gospels to understand the gospel and Acts, the church, and Ephesians and Philippians and James and Hebrews to take our stand as the church in doctrine and for Christ and in our testimony. And the list can go on and on and on and on and on. Every single book, every single passage of scripture is unique. It is all different. It is all purposed by God. It is all profitable. And therefore, it is all necessary. And therefore, because it is all necessary for all life and godliness to face every single challenge, aspect, trial, problem, question, situation, activity, dilemma, difficulty, as well as any kind of issue of our existence, you need all of this.